Okay, per Professor Dungeon Master, as I have said in previous of these videos, he suggested that in July we talk about independent games, which is really much more my cup of tea, although I am very generous on what I call independent. Basically, independent is anything that is not the big game that everybody always talks about, that is always the um, oxygen-draining game in the room. I'm talking about anything else. Anything else. So I'm going to do a little twofer today because uh, they're both still in print in a way. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is Cyberpunk 2020 and Cyberpunk Red. Uh, this is a little bit of an odd one because here's the thing. I've never played Cyberpunk 2020. I've owned it forever. Uh, I've owned it so long, I think my version of it is not even the same one that Seth Krakowski was using, because mine doesn't have that adventure that he has talked about that he ran out of it. Uh, which is tempting me to get a newer copy, but whatever. It, uh, you can still get this, like, print-on-demand, um, I think on drive-thru, but I'm also, I, I'm not 100% sure if it's on drive-thru, but I believe it's on the Artelsorian website. You can actually go on and get Cyberpunk 2020, and several of the source books and supplements for it. I love this setting. I love it. This, to me, is the cyberpunk setting. There are a bunch out there. There's ones that mix in. There's like a, a dark, dark conspiracy, which is like cyberpunk mixed with Call of Cthulhu. There's um, Shadowrun, which is cyberpunk mixed with D&D. There's uh, recently, there's Cyborg, which is like Morkborg's cyberpunk game. There are tons of cyberpunk worlds and settings and games out there, but I've always just loved this one. Artel Sorian's Cyberpunk. The edition that I've always looked through is, is 2020. I have some stuff from the earlier edition. I actually had the earlier edition, but I, I sold it on eBay or am selling it on eBay. Anyway... Cyberpunk 2020. Great setting, wonderful stuff. It has been updated recently to Cyberpunk Red, which also has some rules changes. I have not played Cyberpunk Red, and I've heard mixed reviews on the rules changes. I've heard very positive things about Netrunning, which was always this game. Usually people would say it's like, oh, it's really good. It's really good, except for the Netrunning. I've heard that the net running got really uh, updated and fixed a lot in this. But I've also heard that maybe the action is a little toned down, which this was a sort of a selling point with Cyberpunk 2020, is that it was, had really good, very cinematic, very like John Wicky, except without the bad CG, um, sort of action. Uh, I haven't I haven't played it. I'd like to. Uh, I don't love, I'm going to be honest, it's readable. It's very readable. It's black on white, which is great. It's much easier to read than some. But I just am not in love with the layout. I know that's a weird thing. I just it found it like it made me think when I first looked at it of like a college textbook. When I when I open it up to like pages like this, it looks like my uh, economics or ecology textbook from like 20, whenever I was in college, what, back in like 96, 97. Um, anyway. That's a personal preference thing, but I, it looks very readable, which is nice. That's not always the case with games. And the art that is in it is nice. It's, you know, it's, it's well done. It looks good. Uh, so anyway, one of these days I'm going to check this out. One of these days I'm going to play it. You know, I really, I just, it's a setting that I love. I love that they, for the new edition, they updated it. This is, I think it's 2050s or something. I believe it's set in between the time of Cyberpunk 2020 and the video game Cyberpunk, is it 2077? Uh, I think that's right, 2077. Uh, it's not going to probably be really easy and just tell me right out what uh, what time it is. It's probably in here somewhere. But anyway, I think this I think this takes place in the 2050s or something like that. And I think the, the idea is that the big corporate war that 
Cyberpunk 2020 was building up to has happened. The world is reshaped to a degree, but still pretty grim and violent, and we have Cyberpunk Red. So, if you're into Cyberpunk, I don't think there's, setting-wise, I don't think there's better. I think that they have created a world that is the, like, perfect distillation of William Gibson and Blade Runner and all of that. I think it's all really captured so beautifully in Cyberpunk, in Cyberpunk Red, Cyberpunk 2020, in the Artel Saurian version of Cyberpunk. It doesn't have the other stuff. You know, there's not other genres. It's Cyberpunk. And I think it's great. So, you know, check it out. There's, I think there's a quick start available for Cyberpunk Red. Uh, like I said, if you like the idea of 2020, which now, you know, I know there's some people who I think lack maybe imagination are like, well, it's Cyberpunk 2020. It didn't happen in 2020 because we already lived through that. Uh, no, I get it. But, you know, it's, come on, people. Uh, so, you know, you can use it as an, an alternate history. I mean, this is this was 2020 as seen through the eyes of, like, late 80s, early 90s. So it was the future of that time. It's now a retro future. That's great. I like retro futures. I think they're fun to think about, fun to dream about. Space 1889 is a retro future. Uh, what's the other one I was just talking about? Um, Tales from the Loop is, well, that's a retro past, actually. That's weird. It's an alternate 80s. This is an alternate 2020. Just have fun with it. Don't freak out. It's okay. Everybody knows 2020 happened the way 2020 happened. It's, it's okay. You'll be fine. So I would recommend checking out Cyberpunk Red or 2020 or both. Whatever you want to do. Uh, and that's this one. Hey, if you like what I do, and I'm not being too much of a sarcastic jerk, uh, check out the links below. Support me if you feel like it. And uh, like it and subscribe if you feel like it. That's free. So, yeah. Take care.